Now, a simple but yet very important theorem, uh, usually it is called principle of superposition um, in the theory of uh, differential equations. So let me very quickly prove it. Right? So suppose that we have uh, two solutions of the same homogeneous differential equation, uh, then the linear combination is also going to be a solution. Uh, so let's just verify, is, is it true? So let us uh, take this equation and substitute instead of y into the differential equation. So uh, the uh, second derivative is going to be c1 uh, y1 double prime plus c2 y2 double prime plus p of t times the first derivative is c1 y1 prime plus c2 y2 prime. Okay, plus q of t, q of t times uh, c1 y1 plus c2 y2. But note that we can rewrite it. We can group uh, y1, um, all terms with y1 together and all terms with y2 together. Okay, so. Uh, so we are going to have uh, the following thing. So if we group everything with um, y1 together, then we are going to have c1 times y1 double prime plus p of t times y1 prime plus q of t times y1 plus c2. Now I'm going to group all the terms with um, y2 together. So y2 double prime plus uh, c2 y2 prime, I'm sorry. Um, p of t y2 prime plus q of t y2. Right, but then since y1 is supposed to be a solution of this differential equation, so to say that it is a solution is exactly the same as to say that this is zero. And to say that y2 is a solution of this differential equation is the same thing as to, to say that this is zero. But then this is c1 times zero plus c2 times zero is just zero, okay? So we have verified that if we substitute a linear combination of y1 and y2 into the differential equation, then we get zero. So which means that this linear combination is indeed a solution of this differential equation. So it is true. But then if you recall linear algebra, uh, when a, a linear combination of uh, uh, two objects is again an object of the, the same nature, and then it means that all these objects, they form a vector space. So in other words, this theorem in um, it is uh, equivalent to to formulate it like that, like like, like this. Um, the set of solutions um, of a homogeneous linear differential equation is a vector space. Okay. So now, um, in the next few minutes, we are going to uh, find its dimension and explain how to construct the base. Well, then another theorem. Um, that tells us the following thing, uh, that suppose that we have mm, any two linearly independent solutions of a second order homogeneous linear differential equation, then the set of all solutions is uh, can be constructed as span of the, these two. So in other words, it, it tells us that the general solution can be constructed in the form C1 uh, Y1 plus C2 y2 well or equivalently we can just say that the dimension of the vector space is 2 right because um, when to say that um, that all vectors can be expressed as uh, a linear combination of two linearly independent vectors is the same as to say that the dimension of the vector space is 2 Okay, so here is an example. That's our first example. And recall that we guessed that e to the t and e to the minus t are two solutions. But now 
we know that since they are linearly independent because otherwise they th there are just two of them and if two vectors are linearly dependent it means that uh, one of them is a constant multiple of the other one but e to the t and e to the minus t they are not constant multiples of each other so they are linearly independent so it means that since they are linearly independent and we know that um, the dimension of the vector space must be 2 it means that they form a basis and therefore uh, all solutions are given by the, the this formula it is a, a linear combination of e to the t and e to the minus t alright so now uh, we are going to, to prove this uh, theory well generally speaking if we have a vector space uh, how can we prove that its dimension is uh, is say 2 or some some given number so we can of course construct a basis um, with the with the, this number of vectors or we can prove that this vector space is isomorphic to some vector space that we know the dimension of and th this is uh, what we are going to do here right so first of all um, well recall the um, initial value problem right and of course every solution of every differential equation it solves a certain initial value problem and now we are going to construct a linear transformation from the vector space of solutions of the differential equation to the coordinate space r2 as follows right uh, the input of that vector transformation is a solution so the in input of that linear transformation is a solution uh, of the differential equation all right it is a certain function of t and then we can evaluate it at t0 and then we can evaluate its first derivative at t0 and then we can take these two together and form a two-dimensional vector right so this is two numbers or a vector in r2 well, but then uh, this linear transformation is on to pre precisely because of the existence part of the existence and uniqueness theorem. It's it's just the, the same thing to say that the, this transformation is on to. And to say that this transformation is one to one uh, is exactly the uniqueness part of the existence and uniqueness theorem. And therefore, a since it is on to and one to one, it has to be an isomorphism. Therefore, b is isomorphic to R two. And 